Are you fed up with the inconvenience of sharing files or links between iPhone and Windows? Wish you could seamlessly tap into the Apple ecosystem's efficiency and ease? Today, I'll guide you through setting up 5 essential ecosystem features to bridge the gap between Windows and iPhone. And they are AirDrop, Universal Clipboard, Continuity, Mouse Mode, and Continuity Camera. AirDrop simplifies file sharing between Apple devices in close proximity. There's two ways to integrate AirDrop between Windows and iPhone. Firstly, you can use a third-party app. The best app I found is LandDrop. It is the fastest option to set up and it uses the local network, which means file sharing will be fast. To download LandDrop, go to its webpage and you'll find all links in the description. Click try it now and download the Windows version. Now extract the folder and open landrop.exe now on your phone open the app store search for landrop and download it open it click allow to send files from iphone to pc click on either of the two buttons on the top right corner select the file you want to send click open select the device that you want to send to and on your computer click yes to send files from your computer to your iPhone, open LandDrop from the system tray menu, click add, choose the file that you want to send, click send, choose the device that you want to send to, click send again and on your iPhone under receiving select the green tick, this is the file on iPhone. The second method requires creating a shared folder on your Windows PC. This folder acts like any other, but its contents sync directly to your iPhone's files app. It's fast because it uses your local network. Setting it up might take a little bit of effort and you might encounter some issues at first. But once it's ready, sharing files becomes quicker than using an app. First of all, ensure your iPhone and Windows PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. On Windows, first create a new folder that is primarily going to be used to drop your files into. I'll name my folder AirDrop and I'll save it on my desktop. Second, right click on that folder, go to properties, then navigate to sharing. Third, once in the sharing tab, click on share. From the drop down menu, select everyone and then add. Then change its permission level to read and write. Save these settings by clicking share on the bottom of the dialog box. Now in the sharing tab, open advanced sharing, check the share this folder option, click permissions and grant full control. Click apply, ok, apply, ok and then close. Open system settings, head to network and internet, click on advanced network settings, then advanced sharing settings. Under private networks, enable network discovery, check set up network connected devices automatically and turn on file and printer sharing. Under public networks, enable network discovery and file and printer sharing. And under all networks, enable public folder sharing, set file sharing connections to 128 bit encryption and if your PC is password protected, enable password protected sharing. And you'll have to enter the username and password once we are in the files app on iPhone. On iPhone, open the files app and head straight to the three dotted menu on the top right corner of the screen. Second, click on connect to server. Here, you will need to enter your PC IP address. If you don't know your IP address, open the terminal and type ipconfig and the ipv4 address is the local ip address of your pc open the settings in windows 11 choose network and internet click on the properties button to view details of your wi-fi network the ipv4 address is the local ip address of your pc once done choose registered user then input your pc login user and password if you don't know your pc username use the echo percentage username percentage command and if your pc doesn't have a password choose guest device you are now all set to transfer files between your windows pc and ios device if connecting as a registered user doesn't work and pops up with this error try disabling password protected sharing and connecting as a guest user after I successfully connected as a guest user, I was unable to move or open the files sent from my PC to my iPhone. The files would not display and doing anything with that file pops up an error saying that I don't have the right permissions. And the solution I found was to move that folder from the desktop to the local drive. If you encounter that same problem, try changing the location of your AirDrop folder on iPhone. 
when the file is on the airdrop folder it's just streaming that file from windows to iphone to actually save that file to iphone move it to a local directory to make sharing files even faster you should pin the airdrop folder to quick access and to make it easier to distinguish between the pinned folders you can download the airdrop icon from the internet and set it to this airdrop folder by right clicking on it clicking properties going to customize clicking change icon and browsing for the file for the icon change to take effect on quick access unpin the folder and pin it again universal clipboard Universal Clipboard allows you to copy text, images, photos, and videos on one Apple device and paste them on another. KDE Connect is the best free clipboard sync app that I found and it's even faster than other paid apps. To download KDE Connect on iPhone, open the App Store, search for KDE Connect and install it. To download KDE Connect on Windows, open the Microsoft Store, search for KDE Connect and install it. To pair your devices, ensure both your iPhone and Windows computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, open KDE Connect on both devices and click Find Devices. By the way, when I first installed KDE Connect, my devices were not getting recognized and the solution I found was to move away from the computer with my iPhone. Once your devices show up on the app, follow the pairing instructions to connect them. To send the clipboard from iPhone to PC, ensure that KDE Connect is open or running in the background. Click on the connected device on iPhone, then click on Push Local Clipboard. To send clipboard from PC to iPhone, open KDE Connect on iPhone, and on Windows, click Send Clipboard. Note, all the apps that I found only support syncing text. Photos or videos are not supported, unlike Apple's Universal Clipboard. KDE Connect has more features, but most of them are broken and don't work. However, there are plans for improvement including background clipboard sync for iPhone. Continuity encompasses several features designed to create a seamless experience across Apple devices. The two main apps that integrate continuity features between iPhone and Windows are Microsoft Phone Link and Intel Unison. Me personally, I can't use those apps because my PC doesn't have Bluetooth. I bought a USB Bluetooth dongle and it still did not work because I think you need a modern version of Bluetooth of 5.0 or more to pass requirements. Both apps allow you to make and receive calls from your connected device on windows you can also receive notifications from your phone on both apps like an incoming message or an app alert you can send and view received messages seamlessly but you can't view older messages or group chat you can also directly access your photo gallery and browse through your images without needing to pick up your phone they also have file sharing capabilities another continuity feature that is built into windows is the icloud integration with the photos app which allows you to access photos taken with iphone on your windows computer to enable that feature Open the Photos app, go to iCloud Photos and download iCloud for Windows. After it's downloaded, click Open, click Get Started and sign in with your Apple ID. Click Sync Photos, choose to sync your iCloud drive to File Explorer. If you don't want to do that, click Not Now. Sync your passwords, sync your bookmarks and sync calendars and contacts. Now click Finish Setup. Mouse Mode. This feature effectively transforms your iPhone into a wireless trackpad or mouse input device for your Mac or iPad, offering a convenient solution when your mouse or keyboard malfunctions or as a wireless mouse replacement. If you've downloaded the eConnect from the previous section, you can try its built-in remote input feature. But I've noticed that it's laggy. A superior alternative is an app called Remote Mouse. To download the app on iPhone, open the App Store, search for Remote Mouse, and install the app to download it on windows open the download link provided in the description install the remote mouse server unzip the file and follow the setup instructions to pair your devices launch the remote mouse app on both your iphone and windows pc on your iphone select your computer if the connection isn't detected tap the plus icon at the top left corner and choose either scan qr code or connect by ip the app offers mouse features such as right middle and left click buttons at the bottom as well as a scroll bar on the side 
Its touchpad is responsive and low latency, nearly identical to using a physical touchpad. It supports various gestures such as single finger tap for left click, single finger hold for right click, three finger drag to move windows and files, and my favorite, two finger swipe to scroll. If the tracking and scrolling speed is too slow or too fast, you can adjust it by clicking the hamburger menu and scrolling down to touchpad settings. Remote mouse also supports keyboard input with minimal latency. You can access the keyboard by clicking this icon. It also has an app switcher so you can seamlessly switch between applications. And to access this feature, open this tab. Remote mouse offers paid features like clipboard sync, but thankfully the core mouse and keyboard functions are free. Continuity camera. Apple's continuity camera turns your iPhone into a high-quality webcam for Mac. Camo revolutionizes your smartphone into a professional-grade webcam, effortlessly connecting your iPhone camera to Windows. Though its core functionality is available for free, the footage quality is limited to 720p resolution. Moreover, Camo provides AI image enhancements, image adjustments for fine-tuning your picture, overlays, and framing features, some of which are free while others are paid. An alternative to Camo is Finecam offering a similar feature set with the same resolution limitation in the free version. For those seeking a completely free option, try Video.Ninja, which streams your iPhone footage to OBS but needs some setup at first. You can find guides for setting up Video.Ninja on YouTube. If you would like more ecosystem content, subscribe and comment down below so I know which content to make more of.